I want to share the, the most beautiful equation in math with you, okay? I'm ready. So actually, this is literally, if you search Google, the most beautiful equation in math, yeah. you will find it. So this thing, I might need to use a little bit of the board. I'll just write this pi. We already know what pi is, right? There's another number in math, which is called i. This is the square root of minus 1. So somehow i is equal to the square root of minus 1 which you're not allowed to do. There's no way you can multiply two numbers together and get a negative one. Well, there is if you allow what are called complex numbers or imaginary numbers, so that's this i. You can multiply those two together, you can get an even more crazy number. Not only <laughs> something that doesn't end, but uh, it's not even a real number. But there's another number in math also, and that number is called e. And e appears on a lot of these scientific calculators. Uh, e is another number which is just like pi in the sense that it's transcendental. It doesn't stop anywhere. And also, there isn't a, there isn't a very nice way to express what it is. So this one goes by 2.71828 and so on. Actually, this number is also quite impressive. It's 1828, 1828485945 and more digits beyond there. OK, so a bunch of nice numbers. But this e actually comes also somewhere else in mathematics. Um, even though I told you this doesn't have any nice uh, repeating decimal or even terminating decimal, uh, with e, you can get e by saying, suppose I have a box of chocolates with 100 chocolates, and I drop them all on the ground, and I try to put them all back in. This is like these nice chocolates where everything's different, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can ask, like, what's the probability that every chocolate went back in the wrong spot? And that probability becomes very close to 1 over e. That's this, and the more chocolates you have, the closer it is to this. Anyway, three crazy numbers. It turns out that if you take e and raise it to that, then I can finish the equation with two more numbers. Like the, the most basic numbers in math are 1 and 0. And this is true. So what, what's going on here is I've just put together three completely ridiculous numbers, and they together make negative 1. For all of, the, all of the mess that was here, it has <laughs> all come back in together right here. And uh, this, is, this, is a, this has a name. It's called Euler's identity. And if, it, it is actually the most beautiful equation in math because it combines all of these different constants together. There's your pi there. But suddenly, the pi got joined with all these other ones. So, so, so there, there's, there's, there's some other, other, other fun parts here, too. Have you seen this, the shirts with the pi and the i, the joke? Oh, yeah. where, where pi says, uh, get real, and i <laughs> says, be rational, right? And they're, they're basically calling each other out. So I, I've seen those shirts ever since I was in high school. It was like you know, the speech bubble, get real, be rational. It's like the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> but actually, that, sh that shirt should have one more punchline. The, the last punchline should be, well, let, me, let me write the joke first. This one says, uh, get real. And this one says, be rational. The correct way to put the punchline on this joke is E should say, join me and will be one. <laughs> so of course, that's a negative one right there. But somehow, this, this, this punchline in the joke was never said before. And uh, we, we thought of this joke about two years ago. You better ago. market it but, fast. Oh, we, we have t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> we already made t-shirts with this.